All right, we're here in the kitchen. If you're like me, containment has meant a lot of time in the kitchen. Stress levels seem a little higher than normal, and somehow the COVID-19 has become like this extra poundage around me, and I'm stress eating, and I wanna to come today and offer you a stress relieving four minute workout. It's not hard, but it will simply reset your central nervous system. It will physiologically change you. It'll lower your stress hormone and you'll feel this wave of calmness come over you. Okay, here's what it looks like. All right, to start the four minute breathing reset, we're gonna take 40 quick, deep breaths. On the 40th breath, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna drop down and we're gonna do push-ups. As long as you still have not taken another breath, keep doing push-ups. When you finally take your 41st breath, stop, immediately stand up and begin to breathe slowly. If push-ups are a problem, you can modify them with knee push-ups, wall push-ups, or any variation that can get your heart rate going for about 30 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking our breaths, okay? We need to take about 40 big breaths. So I'll take them with you as we do this, okay? They're pretty rapid. They come in and out fast, as big as you can. There's about five. It doesn't have to be exact, but the goal is you're trying to get your body oxygenated. What you want is you want to get a lot of oxygen into your lungs so that when you do these push-ups, you can hold your breath a little bit longer. The goal is that as you hold your breath, you will reset your nervous system. We'll do 20 more, okay, with me. One, two, Six, seven, eight, nine. You might feel you're still starting to get lightheaded. That's okay. We're getting ready to get down and do our push ups. Now, if you'll recall, the last one, we're gonna hold our breath and we're gonna do as many push ups as we can until we have to take another breath in. All right, here we go. Three more, two more, one more. Okay, hold it. It's okay to let your breath out until you take another breath in. Okay. Stand up. Slow your breathing. Take a couple of deep breaths. You should feel a wave of calmness coming over your body. You should be a little tired. You should start to enter into a calm peace as it floods over your body. Now we're gonna move over to the couch and we're gonna do a five minute prayer meditation. All right, you made it. I'll give you a second to find a comfortable place to sit down. Feel free to pause this at any time if you need a second to grab your materials. My goal in this is to give us about a three to five minute prayer meditation that can take us from this calm state and lead us into a place where, yeah, we can just pray and have communion and fellowship together. But more importantly, we can allow our spirits to connect with God. The purpose of today is calming, but I want to pray specifically into wisdom. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Some of you really like to have music on in the background when you meditate or do prayer sessions. I highly recommend that. I'm not going to do it today personally, just so that I can speak into the camera. 
but if you are someone who likes music by all means please turn some music on go ahead and take a moment and get your favorite instrumental i prefer soaking or instrumental type music especially ones that um, i don't know the lyrics to i find that if i can hear the beat and i know the lyrics i'll end up praying the song instead of praying what i really want um what i really where i really want to spend my time i love what graham cook always says you know crafted prayers if you pray what's on the father's heart your prayer is guaranteed to be answered and um, that's kind of where i want us to focus today okay so find a comfortable seat it can be your couch it can be your chair um, it can be your kitchen table, whatever works for you. Um, I like to have my feet grounded on the floor. It gives me a sense of um, being in that one location. And I'm going to read a little bit of passages over you, and then I'm going to close us with um, the Tuesday, the Holy Week, Tuesday Holy Week's prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Um, just because... We're in Holy Week, and this is going to be a really hard Holy Week for some people. Um, this is a hard time for the church, as we can't gather, but we can still pray. And so, if you'll just start with me, I'd love you to close your eyes. I'd love you to take three really big, deep, intentional breaths and hold them at the top, okay? I'll do them with you. Okay, as your breathing returns to normal, I want you to start by orienting yourself with thanksgiving. What are you thankful for in this moment? It could be your job. It could be the time away from your job. It could be the relationships in your life. It could be your health or your food on your table. But I want you just to start saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just orient yourself around Thanksgiving. There's something that's powerful that shifts when we start from a place of Thanksgiving. And I said, today we want to pray for wisdom. I feel like the world is crying out for wisdom. The systems that we knew and we all operated in no longer seem to work for us. And so as you're thankful for these things, I want to pray into an increase of your wisdom. That there would be a peace about you, but it would come through this understanding and this wisdom. There's plenty of wisdom pieces, but I want to read from 1 Corinthians today. I want to read Paul's words. He says, to preach the message of the cross seems like sheer nonsense to those of us, to those who are on their way to destruction, but to us who are on our way to salvation is the mighty power of God released within us. For it is written, I will dismantle the wisdom of the wise and I will invade the intelligence, invalidate the intelligence of scholars. So where is the wise philosopher who understands? Where is the expert scholar who comprehends? And where is the skilled debater of our time who could win a debate with God? Hasn't God demonstrated that the wisdom of this world system is utter foolishness? And yet we as believers know that there is something different for us. And so I want you to meditate on wisdom. And I want you to meditate on her voice calling to you this brand new ideas about how to stay peaceful, how to stay calm, how to engage with Christ, how to have a conversation with God. Now, Holy Spirit, I just ask that you come into each person as they've oriented their lives around Thanksgiving and they're asking for fresh wisdom in a time of chaos 
and turmoil. That you would show up. I thank you for your presence. Tuesday in Holy Week from the Book of Common Prayer. O oh God, who by the passion of thy blessed Son didst make an instrument of shameful death to be unto the means of life, grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ, that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of thy Son and our Savior Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Open your eyes. You've reset your core system. You've lowered your stress hormones. Your anxiety is at an all-time low. You've had a moment where Holy Spirit spoke directly to you. You're welcome to use this over and over and over again. I do. Awesome. I hope you're blessed today. And I hope that this is a day filled with brand new breakthrough and wisdom in your life. Amen.